Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to replace the spark plugs on your Chevy Malibu with the 2.4, 2.2, or 2.0 liter engine. It'll be very similar to a lot of other vehicles around this year. So this is the Chevy Malibu. This one's a 2012, it comes with a 2.4 liter. Now there's many vehicles that are just like this that have the 2.4, 2.2, or 2.0, similar to like the Cobalt or the uh, Santa Auras, G6s, G5s. So lots of vehicles come with this engine that is in this Malibu. And what we're gonna be doing today is replacing the spark plugs on it. I will have all the spark plugs and tools, everything like that. And you need it to do this job down in the description below on my Amazon store. But first thing we need to do is go ahead and pop this hood and jump on in and start removing those spark plugs. Now with the hood open, first thing we want to do is remove the oil cap. And when doing this procedure, this Malibu with the 2.4 has this huge engine cover that kind of helps with the intake and stuff like that. If you have a different 2.2 or a different 2.4 or a 2.0, this might look a little different, but the overall principle is still the same. What we're trying to do is to get underneath the cover to get to the valve cover uh, where all the components will be. So on here, we're going to then use a flat blade. Loosen up this hose clamp. And then there's also another hose clamp right here. Uh, it, you do have to access it from the side and it is easiest to be done with a long screwdriver. And then there's a hose clamp over here on the passenger side that also hooks into the intake. Uh, just be careful as this is plastic and you don't want to bust that nipple off. Once all those are off, we should be able to just lift up and then everything should be loosened. One more pop clip in the back here, lift it up and there we go. The intake is now off. I'll show you what I mean by this hose clamp here. On this hose clamp, it's very hard to get in here, but you can get to it with a flat blade or a socket, whatever works best for you. Now with the engine cover off, we can go ahead and look on top of the valve cover here. On top of this valve cover, you're going to see four coil packs, one, two, three, and four. Underneath these coil packs are where the spark plugs are. To get to the spark plugs, it's fairly simple. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take this one as an example here, and we're just going to go ahead and push back on the gray clip here. And then by pushing back, you can push down on the harness connector and just kind of push that out of the way. Once that is removed, we can go ahead and take our 10 millimeter and loosen up that bolt. I'm going to remove the bolt by hand here and then pull up on the coil pack. I like to inspect the coil pack, make sure there's nothing wrong with it. This one's looking very good. The boots looking in good shape, the uh, springs down in there and there's no oil or anything like that indicating like a valve cover leak. So this is looking very good. Coil pack's great. Now with the coil pack out, the spark plug is down in this hole here. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our spark plug socket. If you don't own the spark plug socket or the extension and ratchet, you can click the link down below in my Amazon store. I will have a, list, a link to the socket and everything you need to remove this spark plug. I will also have the spark plugs replacements for this engine. Let's go ahead and grab that. Using our 5A spark plug socket here with extension, we'll go ahead and slide that down in there. And then make sure it seats down on there. And we're just gonna go ahead and bend it to the left, counterclockwise, and that broke it loose. Using a spark plug socket is the way to go because it has a rubber boot inside there that will protect the porcelain of the spark plug and it will also help pull out the spark plug once you get it unthreaded all the way. We're gonna go ahead and unthread this all the way. So spark plugs right here. Now my spark plug is still good, so I'm not gonna be replacing it, but the factory spark plugs are AC Delco, so I will make sure to have a link to those down below. Uh, if you're not looking to replace these, you wanna inspect them to make sure there's not any wetness or a lot of carbon buildup or anything like that. This one's looking great, so we're just gonna kind of put this one right back in there. But if you do need new ones, uh, just go ahead and put it back in the socket here. 
So that way you just don't drop it down all the way in there. And then that will hold it. So that way you can go ahead and start threading it back on in there. Once it is all the way tight, you can just go ahead and just give it a quick snug. And then I like to just kind of wiggle around my spark plug adapter here to see if I can get it come out. If it does not come out, grab a pair of needle nose pliers, slide it down in there and pull up on it. Sometimes the rubber is stronger on some spark plugs, a little more snug. So with the new spark plug now installed, we can go ahead and just repeat the process going back. If you need a new coil pack or anything like that, you can also get it off my store. Links down in the description below. I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten this 10 millimeter bolt here back up. And then we're gonna reconnect our harness here and push the locking clip back in. So that's all put back together. If you need to do the other three, it's the exact same process. After you're done with this, you can go ahead and clear the codes on the computer using your scan tool or by resetting the battery. After that, go ahead and restart the vehicle and see if the misfire or codes go away or whatever issue you were having with your vehicle. So that's gonna be it for this video. If this video helped you at all, please make sure to click the like button, subscribe to my channel. Also check out the Amazon links I mentioned down in the description below and check out my other videos. I got quite a few out there for this Malibu. But uh, until next time, thanks for watching and see you later.